This video is titled, The Effects of Translations, Reflections, Rotations, and Dilations. This would be of geometric uh, two-dimension figures in a coordinate plane. Here's some important things to remember. Quadrant 1, Quadrant 2, Quadrant 3, Quadrant 4. And note the coordinates, the xy coordinates in each coordinate, in each quadrant. Also remember that clockwise goes to the right all the way around, and counterclockwise, sometimes called anticlockwise, goes in the left direction from right to left. So here we have a triangle in quadrant 1 and its coordinates as you see. We need to translate it left 12 and down 5. When you see left or down, that's going to be negative. So left is add negative x, down is add negative y. If you're going to the right and up, you would add a positive x or you would add a positive y. In this case, we're going to be adding two negatives. So to each of the x, y coordinates of each point, so for point A we have 5 and 15, we're going to subtract 12 from the x coordinate and subtract 5 from the y coordinate, or add a negative, whichever you prefer. So 5 plus negative 12 is negative 7. That would be our new coordinate. And 15 plus negative 5 is positive 10. That would be our y coordinate for a prime. And likewise, for b prime and c prime, you're going to add negative 12 to the x coordinate and add negative 5 to the y coordinate. So there you see a translation of a, b, c, d, or a, b, c, left 12, down 5. Here we're going to look at a reflection of triangle ABC in the y-axis. In the y-axis, you're going to take the opposite of the x-coordinate. So the y-coordinate would be the same, but the x-coordinate, you're going to take the uh, opposite of it, which would be, if it's negative, then it'd be positive. If it's positive, it'd be negative. So for the a-coordinate here, uh, coordinates, you have negative 10, 11. So again, you're going to have opposite of the x-coordinate, so it's going to be positive 10, and then the y-coordinate is going to be the same, 11. Likewise with b prime and c prime, you do the same thing. Now we'll look at a reflection of a, b, c in the x-axis. So in the x-axis, you're going to take the opposite of the y-coordinate. So again, if uh, the a-coordinate is negative 10, 11, then a prime prime is going to be negative 10, negative 11. And likewise with B prime prime and C prime prime. Here we're going to look at a rotation of triangle ABC. If we go to the right 90 degrees, we're going to have a positive, positive Y is going to replace the X coordinate and positive X will be the Y coordinate. So in the original figure, A is negative 12, 13. So in the um, A prime, you're going to have it be a positive Y, so it would be 13 and then it's going to be a positive x, so we're going to take negative 12 and we're going to make it positive, positive 12. And likewise with b prime and c prime. If we were to rotate the same triangle ABC left 90 degrees, we're looking at this one here now, 
then we're, our coordinates are going to be negative y's, uh, comma, x. So again, a was negative 12, 13, and we're going to rotate it left 90 degrees. Our a coordinates are now going to be negative 13 and negative 12. Our b coordinate was negative 5, 13, right here. So now b is going to be negative 13, negative 5. When we're rotating these objects, uh, geometric objects in the coordinate plane, we're going to make an assumption that most of the time, unless told otherwise, we're going to be doing a rotation around the origin, the origin being 0, 0 right here. And now we will talk about dilation. So dilation of triangle ABC by a scale factor of 2. We are currently over here. When we have a scale factor of 2, since that scale factor is greater than 1, that means we're going to stretch it. So we're going to take each one of the uh, coordinates, the xy coordinates of each of the three points, and we're going to multiply each of those by 2. So minus 7 times 2 is minus 14, etc. for b and c. And then we get a prime then would be minus 14 and 10 times 2, which is 20. b prime would be our original b is negative 6, so it's going to be negative 12. That's right here. And negative 12, and then 5 times 2 is 10. And for c prime, it started at negative 9, 6, so it will become negative 18, 12. Now let's look at dilation of the red triangle, def. Now we're over here. In this case, the scale factor is one third. So that tells you since it's less than one, we're going to shrink the figure. So how do we do that? We do, are going to divide each of the x, y coordinates of the three points that we have, each of those coordinates by three. So for d, it would be come three and five. So our d prime is going to be at x, three, y, Five. Our e coordinate of 15, 9 in our original is going to become 5 and 3. And our coordinates, x, y coordinates for f originally at 9, 6 is going to become 3 and 2. So there you have the dilation. Remember if it's a dilation scale factor of 2, some, a number that's greater than 1, it's going to be stretching the figure. And if the scale factor is less than 1, it's going to be virtually shrinking the figure. Alright, that ends this little video on reflections, dilations, rotations, and translations and their effect on geometric figures in the coordinate plane based on XY coordinates. Enjoy the activity.